Hello, good evening again. Welcome to my channel. I um, appreciate you guys coming and checking out uh, my channel again. Also, I want to thank all those who recently subscribed to my channel. It's very much appreciated. Um, as I've done about, about it was about uh, almost a week ago, a Harley Benton SC Special TV Yellow. I've done an unboxing on it. Um, and this is a follow-up video regarding that. Um, it makes sense to basically follow, do a follow-up before I do the, the strap type machines, guitars. Just get it out of the way. Um, I'm quite excited about it. Um, I've literally bonded a bit. I haven't done no setups to it. I've literally, it's as it came out of the box, um, tuned it up, stretched the strings, played it for a week. Uh, find, to find out as much as possible about how it feels and what sort of tones I can get from it. So, without further ado, this is the item. Um, the unboxing was incredible. I was pleasantly, pleasantly surprised about how good it was, how flawless it was, with no blemishes, uh, nothing. Everything on it was perfect. Um, are they all like this? I don't know. It's not B stock, it was brand new. Uh, I bought it as a bundle because it was so cheap. And I, I took advantage of the bundle they offered, which was £220, which includes the strap, lead and soft case with it. Just give you another glimpse of how it looks. The binding is absolutely perfect. As I said, I, I noticed that it was um, a lot better than my Gibson 2018 worn cherry it had no flaws on it whatsoever i'll just get the what i intend to do is to just to basically uh, give you the specs so if you're considering purchasing this machine at least you know um, what specs and if it's something that you could um, gel with because everyone's different um, just give you a rundown of the on the spec sheet about this guitar. It's called the Harley Benton SC Special in TV Yellow. It's called the Vintage Series. The body is made from mahogany. It's got a setting neck which is mahogany as well. The fretboard is made from amaranth. I think I pronounced that correctly. The neck profile is a 60s C. The fretboard radius is 305 millimeters. The scale of the guitar is 628 millimeters. The nut width is 43 millimeters. It also has a graphite nut. The only thing I had to do with it, the first one on the top E, it wasn't um, cut deep enough. It just took me about less than a couple of minutes to rectify that. It's all perfect now. It has 22 medium jumbo frets. The pickups. It has two Roswell. P90s Alnico 5 single coil. It has two volumes and two tone controls on it. It's got a three way switch. It has a three ply black, white, black pick guard on it 
So it's free ply. You see that? It's got a WSC wraparound bridge. Can you see that? With adjusters at the back for the intonation. It has Wilkinson style. Can you see that? Wilkinson style, vintage style machine heads with a 15 to 1 gear ratio. It came with factory um, standard, the Dario, 10 to 46 strings. Um, I weighed it uh, a few minutes ago because I thought this guitar was quite light. It weighed in at 3.17 kilograms. Now that is actually 6.94 pounds. And also, it's very important to realise that um, some people are apprehensive of, of not seeing a guitar, just ordering it directly from Tomen in Germany. But it has the reassurance with a, it comes with a three-year Tomen warranty, which is very good. So that's all the specs out of the way, yeah? Now... Uh, angle the, the camera. Now, for this demonstration, I'll be using my PV Valkin one one two valve amp 12 inch speakers on my pedal board i'll be using a clon not a real one it's a reproduction i bought from ebay for 37 pounds i'll be using a graphic equalizer from behringer which is an eq 700 i'll be using digitech Screaming Blues pedal. Um, that's it really on it. I'll be using a, a slight um, reverb, which is set at number, not very high. Number two. Okay. Now, the purpose of this this video is to not really mask the the sound with too much using the pedals which overwhelms the sound for you to see you can't really kind of under you can't really kind of really hear the true essence of this guitar so i'll be just using it very very subtly um I'll start first of all without without anything, just the, the, the amplifier sound, just to give you the basic sounds. Then I'll incorporate the uh, graphite, the graphic equalizer. It's set fairly neutral, gives it a slight boost. And then I'll incorporate the screaming blues and the clon. That's it. Now, now, from the neck position, one thing I, I would say about this guitar um, is this. It's got a very comfortable neck. No, it came down with no fret sprouts. It came, to my surprise, set up in tune. It was actually tuned directly from Germany before it got to me. The frets are 
impeccable. There's no fret ends. Um, the neck, I didn't have to adjust the truss rod. The neck is fairly straight. There's a very slight relief. Very slightly. So it's perfectly set up from the factory to me. This is ideal, I found that this is an ideal guitar for somebody who plays acoustic and wants to venture into playing electric guitar. This is the perfect tool for that. Okay, because of the neck profile, it's so comfortable, it's great for those we call cowboy um, chords. Okay, so I'll give you an example. This is from the neck pickup. <laughs> As you can see, it's great for a very versatile guitar. Now, growing up, um, you know, when I first saw these type of guitars, in my naivety, I thought, oh, they're just uh, for somebody who, who plays a lot of grunge, punk rock type thing. It is great for that because it's a no nonsense um, guitar. It's a bit of a tongue monster as well, you know. But as I realise, um, you know, speaking to a lot of experienced players, there was, you know, why were they going to these type of guitars? Until I actually um, got this, it made perfect sense to me, you know, um, more so because having a stripped down version of a Les Paul USA model, a 2018 Norman Cherry, it's, it obviously, it, you know, it, it, it hasn't got this sort of gloss finish. It, it, it's kind of um, nitro cellulose finish. You can see the, the grains on it. Um, you know, I, I notice it's just my opinion, but it, it feels that the, it makes the guitar more resonant. But this guitar is just as resonant, resonant as my Gibson Les Paul, which is uh, astounding, you know? Now, I can't, what, 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 I, what I can, I can describe to you how it feels, because you know, I can't make you understand how it feels, but I can describe how it feels to me. Now, one has to also realize that um, each instrument, has a different appeal to different people, their hand size, their style, whatever, you know, what they're going for. But as a tool, this is, um, it allows you to be more honest, yeah? 
it's, it, it's not a shred type guitar, I don't want to describe that. It, it's an earthy, down to earth rock machine, tone monster. Um, yes, it, it, you know, P90s are notorious for suffering 60 cycle hum. Um, you know, but you can hardly hear it, you know. A little bit, you know. But it's you know it's got full size pots. I had a look, very very impressed. The cavities and everything was perfect. The actual uh, potentiometers are very smooth and progressive. Yeah, I'll give you an example. <clears throat> Because it hasn't has got no pull, um, uh, it hasn't got no fancy um, wiring on it. There's no push pull or nothing. So it's a single coil. Um, it, it's one of those guitars what uh, what makes you work um, in terms of of using your the very the, the, you know how you play the notes. Um, how you play the chords. Um, you have to be very dynamic with a guitar like that to get the best out of it, yeah? Um, the best way to describe it, I'm going to use Use a backing track. to give you
So as you can see, um, it's one of those you don't have to rush it. It, it. it kind of, it lets you find its own voice. Um, it's a no nonsense, stripped down. It, it, it's, I can see it becoming one of my favorite guitars. Um, because I've been picking it up every single week, every single day, not every single week, I haven't had it that long. Um, but it, it, it's, um, I am so pleased that I've discovered um, the benefits of playing a, a stripped down bare bones I mean at first I could have got the single but I wanted the two pickups for that extra flexibility but you know um, plus I think it looks better um, I, I'm really really I, I can't recommend this guitar enough um, the more I play it the more I am kind of um, understanding it in a sense it's an excellent, excellent guitar. Anyway, um, I'll, I'll leave it like that for now. Um, I hope you found this um, helpful um, in a way. And if you do like it, please give me a thumb up, thumbs up. Uh, anything, anything you want to add in the comments that you felt I've missed out, please don't hesitate to, to put your comments in because I learn a lot from uh, people like yourselves who subscribe or, or comment um, on the videos I upload. Um, as I said, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do a bit of a bon uh, bonanza. Um, I might even do tomorrow, depends what time I finish work, um, about um, strap type guitars. Um, but I'm just, I'm just kind of, I'm always drawn to this. <laughs> You know, when I get up in the morning, have breakfast, whatever, I'm drawn to just pick it up and play. It's one of those guitars, you know. Um, but it's so much more hidden, which I know it's waiting to come out. Once again, thank you very much, and I'll speak to you, uh, I'll see you very shortly. Bye for now.